What's going on guys? It's Jonathan Smith and I want to come to you today with a quick story on how I bought my first property and why there's always opportunity near you and you just have to be able to open your mind and see what's possible. Okay, There's a common misconception that you need all this cash credit, all, you know, 25% down payment, all these things to buy your first property and I'm here to tell you that that may not be the case but you're going to have to search outside of yourself and open your mind on what is available out there for you. So when I first bought my first flip house, one, I didn't have good credit. Two, I didn't have any money. And three, I didn't have any experience. It's the worst case scenario on what you could do. But I believed in myself. I had the mindset that I could do it. And I had been around real estate for long enough that I knew that I could figure it out if I could just figure out a way to get going. So what did I do? I came across a property that I felt like was a very good deal and this house needed everything. Okay, there wasn't any plumbing in the walls. There wasn't a gas line. All that was done so far was the sewer line and we rearranged the bathroom. So um, we ended up having to redo half the sewer lines anyway. But I saw this property and I thought, wow, this could be a great opportunity. But I don't have any money, credit, cash, nothing. So what did I do? I knew a guy who had a little bit of money sitting on the sidelines. And he was looking for a project, something to do. He was retired. And he had a good amount of money in a money market account. Well, if you don't know what a money market account, it's basically like a high, high savings account that pays 1% interest per year. So very little amount. And I approached him and I said, hey, I have this house and this is what I want to do with it. I want to take you through the property and give you my opinion on how we should do it. And he believed in me because I believed in myself first and I had a good product to buy and I knew that we could make it a great product to sell. So we got to work on this house. He, he agreed to lend me the money well, we really partnered, so uh, it wasn't even a loan. He put his money in to buy the property, and then we opened an account where he put $40,000 into it, and we got to work. And him and I actually did some physical labor in the house, demoing it down, cutting the concrete, you know, doing all these things. And I didn't even have the crew set up when I started, so really I was kind of shooting in the dark and talking to different people, and this person would introduce me to this guy, you know, the plumber introduced me to the stucco guy, the stucco guy introduced me to another guy. And so really everything kind of got built one off of another. And the project took a long time. It took nine months. Again, I didn't have any of my ducks in a row. I was really flying by the seat of my pants. And, um, you know, we ended up going over budget. We added extra things to the project, but we made a great house. And so and I learned a lot along the way. Every single day we were learning something new. I was learning how to manage contractors. I was building my network of people that could work on the house. And I don't necessarily recommend doing it the way that I did it, but it was the only way that I could start. So uh, I got to work and I just kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing. Uh, we ended up getting everything done. It took nine months from start to sold. Uh, the house came out fantastic. We had issues with the appraisal. The appraisal came in 20000 lower than what we had it in contract for. Um, and the budget was higher. And even still, we both, I think, made about ten grand each. So um, it was still a success. I learned a ton. And I used everything I learned to go to the next property and really build, continue to build up my skills, build up my credentials. And, uh, you know, it... It, it ended up working out in the end. But the main thing to think about here is it was all here. It all started here. It was in the belief. It was in the idea, I can do it. And I looked in unconventional places to find that start and be able to rocket ship myself into the next one, the next one, the next one. So I hope you like the story. I hope it helped you think about how maybe the opportunities around you Maybe there are opportunities around you that you're not even noticing and get you to look out of your comfort zone and look out of the everyday thinking to find 
the solution to this problem of getting started. So go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.